In today's show, Mayor Francis Suarez unveils Miami Bull statue with laser eyes to kick off the Bitcoin 2022 conference. Quoting him here, New York is the former financial center. I give you the Miami Bull. Check it out for yourself. The Iron Man Bitcoin Bull is pretty cool. And also quoting the mayor right here, we need to integrate Bitcoin into every aspect of our society this year. Also be sharing the latest analysis from crypto analyst Rec Capital, who shares here, indeed, Bitcoin has dipped a little deeper to 43,150. And he also shares that now that Bitcoin has broken above the 50 week exponential moving average, it needs to reclaim the bull market exponential moving average as support to return into a bull trend. Also in today's show, Bitcoin bulls may have to wait until 2024 for the next Bitcoin price rocket stage, according to crypto analyst Peter Brandt, who shares right here on crypto Twitter, the past two times Bitcoin advanced 10x or more required an average of 33 months before the next stage of the rocket kicked in. If history repeats itself, which I do not believe it will, the next rocket stage will be ignited in May of 2024. Also in today's show, Grayscale CEO Bitcoin spot ETF as SEC backs the third Bitcoin futures ETF. As he shares here, the plot thickens on the path to GBTC's spot Bitcoin ETF conversion. And he also says that therefore, if the SEC is comfortable with a Bitcoin futures ETF, they must also be comfortable with a spot Bitcoin ETF. Also in today's show, Bitcoin gearing up for a new rally as Ethereum takes a breather, according to crypto analyst Mikhail Vende Pop, who shares here, although the market is showing some weakness, the overall structure is still holding a crucial level above 44700 for Bitcoin. Ethereum looks ready for a deeper connection based on the weakness of the run plus the bearish divergences potentially being ready to be played out. And speaking about bullish price predictions, the next projected cycle peak the King Crypto is on October 24th, 2025, between $250,000 and $770,000 with a medium average of $440,000 as the target. I'll be breaking this down for you. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, many of the major cryptos are currently correcting and in the red. But where's the Bitcoin price likely to go next? Find out all this plus so much more in today's show. Here are crypto news alerts. I drop a brand new episode every single day. The goal is to get to 100,000 subs along with $100,000 Bitcoin price. And if you like getting that crypto, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And today's episode is brought to you by BlockFi, the number one leading provider of financial products and services for crypto investors. And right now you can get up to $250 in Bitcoin when you buy crypto or fund your account today with BlockFi. BlockFi, be sure to use my referral link in the description right down below. Right now, there are more than 500,000 people and 350 institutions globally using BlockFi to manage over $10 billion in assets. And here are some of their flagship products, which includes their trading platform, where you can buy, sell, and trade the top cryptocurrencies. You can do instant trades with ACH. You can trade 24-7, 365. Another flagship product I love is their BlockFi Bitcoin Rewards Visa Credit Card, where you can earn an unlimited 1.5% back in Bitcoin on every Everything you buy, there are no annual fees, no foreign transaction fees, and you can see if you're approved with no impact to your credit score. Also, like to point out for your first 90 days, you're actually going to earn three and a half percent Bitcoin back on all your purchases, truly making this a no brainer. So, go ahead and click my referral link in the description right down below to get up to $250 in Bitcoin, and let's start stacking those sats shall we? All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV, live in Miami as the second day of the Bitcoin conference kicks off. Now to mark the opening of the Bitcoin 2022 conference, Miami Mayor Francis Suarez unveiled a laser-eyed bull statue meant to symbolize Miami becoming the self-proclaimed world's capital of crypto. The statue is a 3,000 pound robotic looking bull fashioned in the same vein as the charging bull of Wall Street. According to the official website, the statue was commissioned by Florida based finance firm Trade Station and they actually did the big reveal right here, quoting Mayor Francis Suarez. New York is the former financial center. I give you the Miami bull and check it out for yourself. How sexy is that? Where my Bitcoin bulls at? It was unveiled on Wednesday at the Miami Beach Convention Center where the conference is being held and was immediately labeled by skeptics at Intelligencer as a crime against God. 
what in the world are they smoking? Now, however, the crypto community has taken a shine to the new symbol of the future of finance. Morgan Creek Digital co-founder Pompliano tweeted on Thursday that the bulls are in control. There's no doubt about it. Now, the bull will greet over 30,000 attendees attending Miami for this Bitcoin conference. If you're going to be here, let me know and possibly we may be able to link up. Now, the conference features five different stages, the largest of which has a capacity for 15,000 people. Events start off with Pompliano and Galaxy Digital CEO Mike Novogratz given a joint fireside chat and continue with chats from Bitcoin community legends Nick Zabo, Jameson Lop, and Dan Held, amongst others. Other speakers include PayPal founder Peter Thiel, NFL star Odell Beckham Jr., and MicroStrategy CEO Michael Saylor, just to name a few. Now, notable last-minute withdrawal from the conference lineup is El Salvador's president, Nayib Bukele. President Bukele is dealing with an outbreak of gang violence in his country, where a state of emergency has been imposed that suspends certain civil liberties, drawing concern from human rights organizations. We're sharing a letter from President Nayib Bukele, who is unfortunately no longer able to attend Bitcoin 2022 due to unforeseen circumstances in El Salvador, which require his urgent attention. We stand in solidarity with the Salvadorian people during these difficult times. And it was one year ago on this date at this conference, Nayib Bokele announced making Bitcoin legal tender in El Salvador. So that was a pretty big deal. And quoting the Miami mayor, we need to integrate Bitcoin into every aspect of our society this year. Preach. I can't wait. And checking out the latest from crypto analyst Rec Capital. Indeed, Bitcoin has dipped a little deeper to 43,150. This way, Bitcoin has also tagged the blue 50-week exponential moving average and ascending triangle top. Retest is now in progress. And he also points out that now that Bitcoin has broken above the 50-week exponential moving average, it needs to reclaim this bull market exponential moving average as support to return into a bull trend. And as crypto analyst Crypto Ball shares here, this looks like a huge possibility to me on the weekly time frame for Bitcoin. Looks like a textbook W pattern, which is having a minor pullback to confirm support at 42,500. The technical target of this double bottom pattern is 52,900. Very bullish. Send it. And before I break down next story of the day, Bitcoin bulls may have to wait until 2024 for the next Bitcoin price. Rocket stage, according to crypto analyst Peter Brandt. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, all the major cryptos are currently correcting and in the red, with Bitcoin down 2.5% for the day, trading just above $43,500. We have Ether down 2.2%, trading just above $32. Luna down 5%, trading just under $105, while Solana, Polkadot, Avalanche, Cardano, and XRP all correcting and in the red. But all right, now let's break down our next story of the day. Bitcoin may track sideways for another two years before reigniting its bull run. New data argues in a new tweet on April 6th, veteran trader Peter Brandt highlights historical patterns suggesting that hodlers will have to wait until 2024 for the next moonshot. Bitcoin has surprised analysts with its performance over the past year as the highly anticipated blow off top in quarter four of 2021 was much lower than expected. After Bitcoin lost over 50% of those modest new all-time highs, the debate around the relationship of the price of Bitcoin's four-year halving cycle has changed. The market was used to a macro price top coming once per four-year cycle, specifically the year after Bitcoin's block subsidy having events. Now, however, the price action is less predictable. While the factors controlling it are many and varied, it does not necessarily mean that bulls will get their break at a different point. In the current cycle, Brandt's data shows that the next impulse wave for Bitcoin may not be until 2024 in May, which almost exactly lines up with the next block subsidy having. Historically, this would be a year too early for a blow off top, but it could still deliver 10 times the price increase based on historical patterns, which go beyond the having cycles. As the crypto analyst Peter Brandt shares right here, the past two times Bitcoin advanced 10x or more required an average of 33 months before the next stage of the rocket kicked in. If history repeats itself, which I do not believe it will, the next rocket stage will be ignited in May of 2024. What do you think? Let me know in the comments right down below. Do you agree or disagree with Peter Brandt? And another analyst chimes in here. Seems feasible, a game of patience with high reward. And in terms of what could keep Bitcoin suppressed until then, analysts have pointed the finger overwhelmingly at macro triggers. Central bank tightening, if successful, should logically pressure risk assets. And at the same time, a prolonged period of high inflation and low interest rates likewise paints a gloomy picture for the king crypto, at least 
in the short term and further out the status quo could change once the initial shock of these events subsides both arthur hayes the ex-ceo of exchange bitmax and bloomberg analyst mike mcglone are conspicuously more confident about bitcoin on the longer time frames than in the coming months quoting Willy Wu right here bitcoin is risk on safe haven gold is a risk off safe haven bitcoin as an untested theoretical safe haven this year will be the first proper market test of it in a war time scenario risk off is the first market response the second market response is towards safe havens that's right i want to give a quick shout out to coinly the easiest cryptocurrency software that generates tax reports in under 20 minutes so when you're trading crypto it's important not to forget about your tax liability that's where coinly comes in you can simply connect your crypto wallets exchange or blockchain addresses right here and it will automatically generate the information that you need and it's free to sign up truly making this a no-brainer so there's no reason to not give it a try so go ahead and click the link in the description right down below I strongly recommend using coinly for all your crypto tax needs and before I break down next story of the day grayscale CEO pleads Bitcoin spot ETF as SEC backs the third Bitcoin futures ETF but first let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market cap sitting just above that two trillion dollar milestone with 113.5 billion in volume in the past 24 hours the current Bitcoin dominance is 41.2 percent with the ether dominance at 19 0.3% and checking out the top 100 cryptocurrency gainers in the past 24 hours. We have ANC up 16.5% trading at $3.29, followed by Mina up almost 7% trading at $3.30, followed by Ethereum Classic up just 3% trading at $42.64. And checking out the top 100 cryptocurrency gainers for the week. There's only a handful actually in the green as most of them have corrected for this week and are in the red. And checking out one of my favorite indicators is the Crypto Greed and Fear Index. Shows we're currently rated a 34 four out of 100 back in fear yesterday was neutral at a 48 last week was a 52 and last month a 21 in extreme fear and if you're not familiar with the crypto greed and fear index extreme fear can be a sign investors are too worried that can be a great buying opportunity aka btfd buy that freaking dip when investors are getting too greedy that means the market is due for a correction but all right now let's break down our next story of the day institutional investors rejoice as there is one more way to gain exposure to the king crypto the united states sec had announced overnight the approval of a fourth bitcoin futures etf that's right fund group techrium is behind the most recently approved bitcoin futures etf dtf joins a growing number of approved futures etfs complementing pro shares valkyrie and van eck bitcoin futures ETFs. And it's important to point out that every Bitcoin spot ETF has been rejected to date for one invested observer. However, the way in which the approval was made could be a boon for the expectant of spot investors. As Sun and Shine shares here, the plot thickens on the path to Grayscale Bitcoin Trust's spot Bitcoin ETF conversion. In a Twitter thread, Grayscale CEO Michael Sun and Shine once again banged the drum for Bitcoin spot ETF. Sun and Shine tweeted, if the SEC is comfortable with a Bitcoin futures ETF, they must also be comfortable with a spot bitcoin etf he makes a great point his argument summarizes that all bitcoin futures etfs are created equal and that this new one falls under a 1933 act and not the 1940 act which the other three etfs fall under then the argument for filing a bitcoin spot etf becomes stronger which he points out here on crypto twitter therefore if the sec is comfortable with a bitcoin futures etf they must also be comfortable with a spot bitcoin etf they could no longer justifiably cite the act 40 act as being the differentiating factor now sun and shine has also been a proponent and protagonist for the creation of a bitcoin spot etf for some time the company shared plans to convert their grayscale bitcoin trust into an etf back in october of 2021 with over 35 billion dollars in assets under management the grayscale bitcoin trust is the largest in the legacy finance world, the conversion to a spot ETF would be consequential. Now, Bloomberg analyst Eric Balchunas shared his view on that it's a good sign for the spot, meaning that Bitcoin spot ETF, as he shares here, Justin, SEC approves Techrium Bitcoin Futures ETF, notable because it was filed under the 33 Act, which Gensler has said doesn't have enough protections versus the 40 Act. So while investors wait with bated breath for a Bitcoin spot ETF, analyst Doomberg suggests that the issue may not relate to different acts, but due to the fact that the futures contracts are settled in cash. I think it's all about manipulation. Obviously, someone is corrupt. I'm not going to point any fingers, but just pointing out the obvious. Gary Gensler, the chairman of the SEC, may in fact be blocking the spot ETFs because as long as the funds flow into spot ETFs faster and they are redeemed, the net effect provides US dollar exit liquidity to those looking to cash out 
their Bitcoin. And in the meantime, ProShares recently filed with the SEC for its short Bitcoin strategy ETF as the Bitcoin spot ETF saga continues. So there you have it. And before I break down our final story of the day, Bitcoin gearing up for a new rally as Ethereum takes a breather, according to crypto analysts, Mikhail Bende Pop. And I share with you this very bullish Bitcoin price prediction of $440,000 for the next projected cycle peak. But first, I want to remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market. This goes for all 1,100 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. Also, some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including my crypto merch store live at merch.cryptonewsalerts.net. Also, the daily letter that goes out to over 30,000 subscribers every single day. To subscribe, visit letter.cryptonewsalerts.net. Also, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And of course, you can find me on all the major podcasts and platforms from Spotify to Apple's iTunes. And if you're listening to the pod, be sure to check out the YouTube channel at CryptoNewsAlerts.net for the full premium experience with video. And of course, you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Telegram, and TikTok. So wherever you at, be sure to plug in and follow me there. But all right, now let's break down our final story of the day. Popular Crypto strategist Mikhail Bende Pop says Bitcoin bulls are setting the stage up for a fresh rally while predicting a shallow pullback for Ethereum. That's right. In a new strategy session, Vande Pop tells his 165,000 YouTube subs that he's bullish on the king crypto after Bitcoin breached its resistance around 45,000 that has kept the market range bound for more than two months. Quoting the crypto analyst here, as we've been breaking out of this two month range, it seems quite likely that the chances are we're going to be moving and getting ourselves in the next range. This area between 46 and $51,000, that is the next area where we could be expecting continuation to be happening. Send it. And in a new Twitter post, Vande Pop notes that while Bitcoin is showing some signs of weakness, the largest crypto asset by market cap still looks strong as long as it stays above $44,700. Looking at Ethereum, Vande Pop says that the top smart contract platform is primed for a breather after a strong rally from its 2022 lows of $2,159. As he shares here, we have been making higher lows. We have been sweeping the previous highs and we are continuing the actual momentum towards the next resistance zone as we have been sweeping the final high too and the next resistance zone can be found around $3,600 and we've got one at $3,800. I would not be expecting it to break through that resistance in one go. A small bearish divergence is being created here too and currently it is hovering at the crucial level of support at $3,400. If that is lost, I am assuming we're going to retest $3,100 once again. And he also points out that Ethereum looks ready for a deeper connection based on the weakness of the run, plus the bearish divergences potentially being ready to be played out. Let me know if you agree or disagree with the crypto analyst. Now let's check out this tweet from DFI. Bitcoin deep price model weekly update april 2nd 2022 current projection 47,000 would would range between 27 and eighty-three thousand dollars. projected cycle trough december 21st 2022 21,000 would arrange between 12 and 36,000. projected cycle finish april 24th 2024 59,000 would arrange between 34 and a hundred and four thousand dollars with the next projected cycle peak october 24th 2025 of four hundred and forty thousand dollars would arrange between between two hundred and fifty and seven hundred and seventy thousand dollars. Let me know if you agree or disagree with this analysis. And he also shares bottom line: Bitcoin is always bullish in the long run. Power law current medium term outlook is bearish. Having cycle model doesn't inform us about short term price action. Not technical analysis. Strategy of choice depends on time horizon. Time conquers all. Now for a quick recap of what I cover with you here in today's show: Miami Mayor Francis Suarez unveiled. Miami Bull statue with laser eyes to kick off the Miami Bitcoin 2022 conference. Also in today's show, I shared that Bitcoin bulls may have to wait until 2024 for the next major Bitcoin price rocket stage. Also in today's show, I shared that the Grayscale CEO pleads Bitcoin spot ETF as SEC backs the third Bitcoin futures ETF. Also in today's show, we discussed Bitcoin gearing up for a new rally as Ethereum takes a breather. And I also shared with you this massive $440,000 target for the King Crypto for the next projected cycle peak would arrange between $250,000 and $770,000. Where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go next? Let me know in the comments right down below. Now for the top three comments from yesterday's episode, No Money G wrote, Oh damn, watching now. Been watching the conference on Bitcoin Magazine YouTube channel all day. Hope you're having a great time, guy. Wish I was there this year. Hopefully next year when Bitcoin is around $500,000 range. Let's freaking go. $500,000 Bitcoin. 
send it. Let's freaking go. And our next featured comment comes from Steve Hubbs, who wrote, a prediction without a year is a waste of space on your video title. Anybody could say $700,000 sometime in the future. The Bitcoin law growth curves would say 700000 by the end of 2026, based on the middle curve. You make a great point, fam. Glad today's video, I put a date with the prediction. One love. And our third and final featured comment comes from Eric Castro, who wrote, Miami vibes, baby. Just got my taxes today, and you best. I bought the freaking dip, son. Let's freaking go. Welcome to Miami fam. Congrats on buying the dip. Hoddle. And to be featured on tomorrow's episode, drop me a comment right down below.